Welcome to Lesson 12A, a lesson for those of you who are taking London College Grade 1. What is a broken chord? Well, if you don't know, you need to go back to Lesson 11A, where all the theory is explained. We don't need any theory to start this lesson. We can dive straight in. When you're asked to play a left-hand broken chord of C major, this is what the examiner is expecting. And this is what it looks like in books of scales and broken chords. As with the right hand version, it really is a good idea to get the fingering correct from the start. And again, the most important word you'll need is replace. To play the broken chord to the left hand of C major, put your five on C and your three on E and your thumb on G. Play them in that order and then all together. Replace the three and the thumb with the five and the three. Push the thumb up one key to C. Replace the three with the five, the thumb with the two, and again push the thumb up to C. So in this version of the broken chord, for the left hand, you have to consider the movement of the thumb. Five, three, one on C, E, G. Then five, three, replacing on E and G. Thumb pushed up one note. Five, three, one. And then put the five where the three is, the two where the thumb is. And notice how I pushed my thumb up to E. Well done. You've played a left hand C major broken chord. And the good news again is that once you've got this securely learned, you'll be able to play the same pattern to create D minor, E minor, F major, G major and A minor, as I show here. Starting with my hand on C with my little finger there gives me the C major chord. But if I move the hand up to D, I can get D minor. Starting with my little finger on E, I get E minor. Starting with my little finger on F, I get F major. And with my little finger on G, I get G major. And finally, with my little finger on A, I get A minor. And just as with the right hand, you could even try the two broken chords played entirely on black keys, E flat minor and F sharp major. By putting my little finger on E flat and my middle finger on G flat and my thumb on B flat, I get E flat 
minor broken chord. And by putting my little finger on F sharp, middle finger on A sharp, and thumb on C sharp, I can play the F sharp major broken chord. A massive well done for finishing these two lessons on broken chords. The London College syllabus uniquely has broken chords at grades two and three. And lessons on these can be found by going to the arpeggios page on the website and clicking on the broken chords button. Lesson 13 covers how to play one octave arpeggios on white keys. See you there.